everyone and welcome to the Unique Creepy channel. So what of cryptocurrencies is developing and in order to constantly monitor its trends, we should understand the basic terms and directions. In this video we will talk about such concepts as NFT and also consider how to make money on them. So let's get started. In November 2021, 14-year-old artist Abigail and her brother sold 8,000 NFTs within 10 hours at a price of $160 per NFT. Thus, teenagers were able to earn $1 billion. London schoolboy Benny Mehmed made money during the summer holidays. He drew a series of emoji called Strange Whales and sold a digital certificate. There are a huge number of such cases and therefore we cannot ignore them. So let's understand what NFTs are, how they work and how you can make money on them. An NFT is an appearance registry entry that represents a real object. With the help of NFT you can digitize any object, picture, video and so on. In fact, this is a digital certificate that shows the presence of an active asset. Unlike cryptocurrencies, an NFT each token is unique. It cannot be replaced by another. Thus, the concept of NFT stands for non-fungible token. In the case of standard currencies and tokens, everything is very simple. You can borrow $100 from a friend and return it with any other deal, as it is a fungible resource. Buying an NFT has been compared to buying celebrity autographs. For example, if you take a photo from a friend with an autograph of your favorite actor and give a probable photo with the signature of another person, things will be captured differently. In simple words, an NFT is a digital asset that represents an existing object and gives ownership of the original. Let's look at the history of emergence and spread of NFTs around the world. In 2014, artist Kevin McCoy invited the first known quantum NFT on the name coin market. This is a digital image of a pixelated octagon that hypnotically changes color and pulsates. After that, many developments and experiments began. The counterparty platform appeared that is also known as Bitcoin 2.0, which allows to create monetary assets. Bitcoin was never intended as a platform for tokens, so it subsequently entered the Ethereum market. John Watkinson and Matt Hall created CryptoPunks token series. These were 10,000 signs, among which there wasn't a single repetition. Later, Vancouver-based venture studio Axiom Zen introduced a new CryptoKitties game on Ethereum network. Players could adopt, breed, and sell kits, store them on their crypto wallets. The next step in the development of NFT was made by the decentralized structure of virtual reality, the central end. This is a game platform with a probable world. Here you can play games, build, collect items, and so on. Everything you find, earn, and build, you discover along the way. Now I propose to consider the main options for using non-fungible tokens. As you already understood, NFT grants ownership of an object, but the copyright belongs to the creator of this object. NFT is an important stage in the development of art, comparable to the transition from film to digital photography, and a separate branch of digital art. Thanks to blockchain technologies, it is possible to verify the authenticity and the origin of a particular block of art, as well as its scarcity. This gives many advantages to artists. For example, they wrote known as Disaster Girl, so the original copy of the meme for 180 Ethereum, and in addition, the girl will receive 10% of each subsequent sale. NFTs have also found successful applications in the gaming industry. For example, they are used in such famous games as Sexy Infinity, Cards and Chain, Sandbox, Crypto Kitties, and others. Most often, in order to start playing and immerse yourself in the metaverse, you need to purchase game characters or special items for them, which are presented in the form of NFTs. In addition, NFTs provide unique financial benefits in DeFi. For example, just liquidity offers an NFT staking model. Another example is an NFT combos from BakerySwap which provide holders with increased staking rewards. By providing back, you get an NFT combo with a share of coins, which is determined randomly and participates in staking. Users use these combos in different ways, sell them on the secondary market or use them for staking. Combining physical assets with NFTs helps make the process of proof of ownership digital. For example, in the real estate industry, physical documents of property of ownership are used. But the creation of tokenized digital assets of these documents can move hardware looking assets through the blockchain. Blockchain technology can also be useful in logistic industry. 
the transparency and the mutability of the system guarantees the accuracy and reliability of information in the supply chain. The thing about NFTs is that they present unique items. They can be used to track goods, view data on their origin, role, and location of the warehouse. There are many hypothetical ways to implement NFT in the delivery of goods. However, for each of them, it is necessary to use the same system at all stages of the supply chain. Due to the large number of participants in the process, it can be quite difficult to implement this idea in the real life. That is why now the use of NFT in such areas is not so common. NFT is a token that confirms the ownership of a certain item. Usually it can be photos, videos and other works of art. The popularity of NFTs continues to grow, which means we will see more and more different use cases for non-fungible tokens. Today many users for NFTs are still at the idea or small project stage, so some of them may not be practical or popular. However, in the field of digital art and collecting, NFTs are truly indispensable. If this video was helpful for you, support it with a like and share your opinion about it in the comments. Thank you for watching and goodbye.